WBC qualifier Pool A gets started this Friday, September 16th. Six countries are battling for the chance to qualify for the 2023 World Baseball Classic. On Wednesday, September 21st, only two teams will be left standing. They will join the 16 countries that have already qualified. In case you don't know, the WBC is expanding to 20 teams for the first time. The 16 teams that competed in the previous edition back in 2017 automatically qualify for next year's tournament. The 16 qualified countries are Chinese Taipei, Netherlands, Cuba, Italy, Japan, Korea, Australia, China, USA, Mexico, Colombia, Canada, Puerto Rico, Venezuela, Dominican Republic, and Israel. As you can see there, each of the four pools will be joined by one team from the qualifiers. The six countries in the Pool A qualifier are Germany, Czech Republic, Spain, France, Great Britain, and South Africa. Out of these six countries, only two have previously played in the WBC. South Africa played in the first two WBCs in 2006 and 2009 when it was invitation only. Spain qualified in 2013. Neither South Africa nor Spain won a game in the WBC. The other four countries are hoping to qualify for the first time. Looking at the most recent WBSC World Rankings, Czech Republic holds the highest ranking at number 14, two spots away from being a Premier 12 team. Germany is next at number 18, one ahead of number 19 Spain. France and Great Britain are 22nd and 23rd respectively, and South Africa is number 26. Because they are the two highest ranked teams, Czech Republic and Germany get first round buys. On opening day of the qualifier, South Africa will take on Spain, with the winner moving on to meet Czech Republic on Saturday. Great Britain and France will meet in the evening on Friday. The winner meets Germany on Saturday. On Sunday afternoon, the losers of the second Friday game and the first Saturday game meet, and the loser of that is done. On Sunday evening, the losers of the first Friday game and the second Saturday game meet, with the loser going home. So, by the end of the weekend, the field will be narrowed down to four teams. Monday is a day off. Tuesday afternoon, the first game will feature the two winners from Sunday. The loser of that game is eliminated. The evening game will be the winners of Saturday's games. The winner of the evening game on Saturday will be 2-0 or 3-0 and will qualify for the WBC. The loser of the evening game and the winner of the afternoon game meet on Wednesday. The winner of that becomes the second team to qualify. All games are taking place at the Armin Wolf Arena in Regensburg, Germany. That's six hours ahead of East Coast time in North America. If you want to watch, it's pretty easy. You can watch live from anywhere in the world on MLB TV, WorldBaseballClassic.com, the WBC YouTube channel, or the WBC Facebook page. If you live in the UK, watch on BT Sport. In Germany, Sport 1. O2 Sport in the Czech Republic. In France, B in Sport. And ESPN Africa in South Africa. The other three countries seen there, Nicaragua, Panama, and Brazil, are for the Pool B qualifier only, not this one. Five of these countries met last year in the European Baseball Championship. Spain was the highest finisher among them at fourth. The Czechs were fifth, Great Britain sixth, Germany ninth, and France 15th. However, each country will be bringing very different lineups to the WBC qualifier. More recently, last week and earlier this week, there were some friendlies played between Germany and the Czech Republic, which the Czechs won two out of three, and between the Czech team and Spain, both games won by Spain. That's given us a little preview of what to expect from these teams. There won't be any active major league players, but plenty of minor leaguers, ex-major leaguers, and other players from professional leagues around the world. If you've been following this channel for a while, you may be quite familiar with these teams. If not, it's understandable. Let's take a look at what these teams are bringing so you can get to know them a little. Then we can try to guess which two teams are going to come out of it as the qualifying teams for the WBC. Let's start with the home team. They won't be able to use Max Kepler as the Major League season is still going, but they do have a few ex-Major Leaguers on their roster. Outfielder Aaron Altair, who was born in Germany to a German father and is a German citizen, played in MLB from 2014 to 2019, then played in the KBO in 2020 and 2021. He hit 32 home runs in Korea last year with 20 steals, but did not return this year. He's only 31 and can still hit the ball. He'll be a dangerous hitter in this tournament. 23-year-old Padres prospect Lucas Dunn can play first, second, third, and the outfield. This year he had an OPS over 900 in low single A, but struggled in high single A. Bruce Maxwell brings major league experience at catcher. He played three seasons in MLB, last seen in 2018 with the Oakland A's. This summer he played in the Mexican League where he had a slash line of 365, 472, 615. Almost all of their pitchers are playing or used to play in the major league system. Some American born but mostly native Germans. Brian Flynn, a 32 year old lefty, played six years in MLB ending in 2019. Major league prospects include 24 year old right hander Michael Beanlane of the Detroit Tigers, 26 year old right hander Chris Holba of the St. Louis Cardinals, 25 year old lefty Jordan Martinson of the Kansas City Royals. 23-year-old right-hander Nicholas Rimmel of the Minnesota Twins, 
All of them are relievers. One starting pitcher prospect and 23-year-old lefty Tommy Sommer. He had a 264 ERA and nine starts in high single A for the White Sox. And one interesting member of their pitching staff who's twice as old as some of these guys is 47-year-old lefty Enorbel Marquez. He was born and raised in Cuba but has been living and playing in Germany for a long time. So the German team looks really good as far as pitching, but most of their position players have only reached the college level or have only played in Germany. The German league is one of the best in Europe, so don't be surprised if you see some good hitter who's never reached the major league system. But if they're going to win, I think it's going to be because of their pitching. Next, let's look at the highest ranked team, the Czech Republic. The Czech team had a good showing in the last WBC qualifier, beating Germany and losing to Mexico and Nicaragua, each by one run. They also had a good showing at the Olympic qualifier, finishing third behind Israel and the Netherlands, two teams that are already in the WBC. They were, in fact, the only team to beat Israel in that qualifier. They're all set at catcher with 30-year-old Martin Cervenka. He spent the 2021 season with the AAA Syracuse Mets, last winter in the Dominican League, and this past summer in the Czech League. He's got a little power, but mostly hits for average, and is best known for his defense behind the plate. Wojtesz Menzik is a 24-year-old infielder who can play second, third, and short. He was the starting third baseman for NC State's College World Series team in 2021. This past summer, he played for Inland Empire of the LA Angels organization. He prefers to play shortstop, but has mostly been used at third in college and in the minors. Over the summer, he had a 356 on on-base percentage and was 15 out of 18 in stolen base attempts. That's what he's been known for his whole career, getting on base and stealing. They've got a two-way threat in Merrick Minerick, a former Phillies pitching prospect who left the MLB system in 2015. He's been thriving as both a pitcher and a hitter in the Czech League. In one of their friendlies against Germany last week, Minerick hit the walk-off home run to win it for the Czech team. For the rest of the team roster, there are a few that played in the minors or college baseball in the U.S. Not as many prospects or former prospects as some of the teams in this qualifier, but almost everyone on their roster was playing in the Czech League over the summer, and that's one of the top leagues in Europe. Great Britain was one win away from qualifying for the WBC last time. They pulled off an upset over Brazil, but lost to Israel in the qualifier final. It's not considered one of Europe's top baseball countries, but they do have a roster for this qualifier that could push them to the top. Great Britain's team has quite a Bahamian presence. Six players and a coach come from the Bahamas. Among them, Chavez Fernander, a 25-year-old right-handed reliever who split his time between high single A and double A of the Detroit Tigers organization this past summer. Another reliever, 23-year-old right-hander Tanaj Thomas, spent all of the summer in double A Altoona of the Pirates organization, where he had a 302 ERA in 37 appearances. 27-year-old outfielder Anthony Seymour brings some speed to this team. He stole 30 bases over the summer in an independent league. He previously reached double-A in the Marlins organization. Just this week, Harry Ford committed to play for Great Britain. The 19-year-old catcher brings some power to the lineup. At single-A Modesto this summer, he hit 11 homers with a 439 slugging in 104 games. Also stole 23 bases. And there are some ex-major leaguers. 34-year-old right-hander Vance Worley, an 8-year major league veteran from 2010 to 2017, mostly as a starting pitcher. Since then, he's pitched in triple-A as recently as last year. Last summer, he played independent ball. Another independent baller, 29-year-old right-hander Akil Morris from the Virgin Islands. He last played in MLB for the Angels in 2018, AAA last year. 32-year-old London-born left-hander Chris Reed made a couple appearances with the Marlins, but that was back in 2015. That's quite an impressive list of players, more than you'd expect Britain to have. Looks like base running may be the team's strength. The one worry I'd have with this team is that most of them haven't worked together in the past, so we don't know how they'll function as a team. But they've got the talent, and that's a good start. Spain is bringing a team almost entirely made up of Latin American players, mostly from Cuba and Venezuela. And as you know, a group of players from those two countries could do some damage in a WBC qualifier. They have a few pitchers with major league experience. 35-year-old right-hander Reiner Cruz was last seen in 2018 with the Toronto Blue Jays. 28-year-old right-hander Rogelio Armenteros appeared in just five games for the Houston Astros in 2019. 30-year-old right-hander Vicente Campos made one appearance for the Diamondbacks in 2016. This year he pitched in relief in the Mexican League. Probably their best pitchers are a couple guys who never reached the major league level. Joander Negrin, a 38-year-old right-hander, is a good starting pitcher in the winter and summer leagues of Mexico. And 33-year-old right-hander Elian Leva was one of the best starting pitchers in Mexico last winter. Big news came this week for Spain as Noel Vimarte, the number 18 overall MLB prospect, committed to play. The 20-year-old Dominican shortstop in the Cincinnati Reds organization played at high single A this summer, where he hit 19 homers and stole 23 bases in 115 games with a 371 on on-base percentage. 32-year-old outfielder Angel Beltre is their lone position player with major league experience, but that was back in 2013. He plays independent ball now. 
Another outfielder, 23-year-old Justin Connell, is their lone Spanish-born prospect. He played in high single A and double A of the Nationals organization this year, hitting 11 home runs in 96 double A games. The rest of their position players are mostly Venezuelans who are several years removed from the major league system and the winter leagues. They've got some major league experience among pitchers, but their time in the big leagues was brief and a long time ago. This is a team of mostly old players taking the field one last time. In the five years since the last WBC, two South Africans reached the major league level. They're no longer in MLB and unfortunately are not on South Africa's roster for the qualifier either. Neither is international star Dylan Unsworth. So who are they bringing? Kieran Lovegrove is a 28-year-old right-handed reliever who brings a decade of minor league experience to the team. He was a promising young prospect, but his last showing was in AA in 2021, where he had an ERA over 7. 32-year-old Justin Erasmus is another right-handed reliever who previously played in the minors. He also played in the Australian League year after year for the last decade. 30-year-old right-handed pitcher Dylan DeMeyer last pitched in single A in 2014. Former Major League hitter Gift Ngope will not be participating, but his younger brother Victor Ngope is the one hitter on their roster bringing some recent experience in the Major League system. He last played in single A of the Pirates organization in 2019, where he divided his time between second and short. 36-year-old Jonathan Phillips can play second, third, or short, and he also has played in the Major League system, but that was in the Rookie League back in 2003. So no active minor leaguers, none of their ex-major leaguers are here, no strong domestic league to draw from, and most of their experienced players are relief pitchers. Doesn't sound very good, but the country's produced some talent recently. Maybe we'll get a surprise from someone we just haven't heard of yet. France went 1-2 and two at the last qualifier, beating Spain but losing twice to Panama. They'll be underdogs here, but they're in good hands. Bruce Bochy is the team's manager, the French-born ex-major league manager who won three World Series titles, stepped down for a little while, but he's back for this tournament. Not too many players with experience in the major league system, but several who played college baseball in the U.S., and most of them now play in the French League. The French League is not quite on par with the German and Czech leagues, but it's pretty close. Out of those with minor league experience, most are Venezuelan. 32-year-old reliever Yoimer Camacho has won. He only reached high single A, but this past summer he pitched in the Mexican League, where he posted an impressive 3.13 ERA and 46 innings of relief. 35-year-old right-hander John Garcia has been out of the major league system for 10 years, but played as recently as 2020 in the Venezuelan League. 30-year-old Ariel Soriano is a position player who's played in the minors, though not since 2014. He can play infield and outfield positions. They don't strike you as the kind of players who can lead the French team to the WBC, but remember this is a different kind of team with so many who've played college ball in the U.S., and most of them have played in the French League, so they may work better as a team. And don't forget who's managing this team. That could make a huge difference. So with a look at each team's complete roster, here's how I think they'll finish. South Africa is last. When these groups were announced, I said that South Africa can match the other countries when it comes to comparing the best players, but will have trouble filling up the rest of their roster. And now that we know Gift Ngope, Taylor Scott, and Dylan Unsworth won't be playing, I don't see much potential for this team. Number 5, France. This team could surprise us all. Don't count them out. But looking at what they're bringing to this tournament, I don't see them reaching the top four. Number four, Spain. As expected, they found a number of former prospects from the Caribbean with Spanish heritage to fill up their roster. That's a big advantage that Spain has. But the age of the players, and considering that some have been inactive for several years, is concerning. There's not much time to shake out the cobwebs here. A couple bad games and you're done. Number three, Great Britain. If we're simply measuring talent, this is the number one team. And if they qualify, it would match past WBC success stories where a bunch of players from around the world are thrown together, and it works, like we've seen with Italy and Israel. But the talent on this team isn't overwhelming, not enough to get Britain into the top two. Number two, the Czech Republic. Don't be fooled by the small number of MLB prospects. The top players in the Czech League are every bit as good as active minor leaguers, and they've got a team full of them. Number one, Germany. Plenty of prospects, players with recent major league experience, a strong domestic league to help fill up the roster, and they're playing at home. I say Germany wins this tournament, and the Czechs also qualify for the WBC. But anything can happen. What do you think is going to happen? Let us know in the comments. That's all for this one, and until next time, this is Baseball International. See ya.